Now the duck shooting season's over team, uh, the focus is turned to the rooster deer which are about to start their rut which usually begins around uh, late June and into July and August. So we're boosting up to the mighty Bay of Pindi to uh, give them another crack, especially for the elusive record book rooster stag. To put things in perspective, uh, this is probably the hardest game animal in the country to hunt successfully. Um, that is the rooster stag. It's taken me and Mark probably about between us five to ten years just to get a respectable uh, representative rooster stag on the deck, and uh, it's been a challenge just seeing or spotting a um, a record book stag. So, uh, but we love a challenge. We're either we're either mad or we love a challenge, and uh, we're boosting up there to um, give it another crack. Uh, mate Craig, he's coming along on the trip, and uh, he's been trying for quite a few years with the longbow to get a rooster. So, uh, stand by. After the last couple of years um, struggling to find any decent stags uh, in my main area I decided to try a new spot and uh, see how that might go. I'd had some cameras up in there in um, previous years so showed a few bit of promise so um, I headed back in there for a bit of a look. As uh, the morning started to open up, I'd seen a few smaller stags, which looked pretty good to see a few good stags straight off the bat. And then uh, one that I nearly could have shot, but I thought I'd best leave that one another year. But before I could make up a decision, he'd already uh, gone out of sight. to head back to base a um, bit of news from my mate he's um, he shot a, a rooster stag this morning and uh, it's been bailed by some pig dogs and it's floating down the river somewhere so head back to base and uh, see if he can help him in his search for his um, stag if the farmer hasn't done so already uh, something you don't want to do very often team I slipped on a tree root and I've just fallen about four meters down a bank <sighs> yeah thought I'd bloody broken my wrist but yeah thank god I haven't broken anything that just happened so quick eh? I just yeah find my way back on the ridge holy shit I was flying upside down through the air didn't know when I was going to stop for a minute bloody hell All this uh, rain been having, it's just a labyrinth of collapsed trees. We're 
A lot of these dead trees have fallen down with the weight of all the constant rainwater on them. Yeah, far out. No, onwards. Oh well, I guess that was a very, very lucky event for me this morning, um, even though I had a bit of a fall, just kind of shows you how quickly things can happen, and uh, yeah, it's just lucky, I just sustained a bruised wrist out of the whole deal, if I'd carried on flying and flipping through the air a bit further, I think it might have been a different story, but um, yeah, bloody good reason to have one of those PLBs eh because um, you just never know when an event like that's going to happen and what's going to what the outcome is going to be the outcome for me this morning was real good but um, <laughs> it um, could have been well different had I um, gone I could see another if I'd still had enough momentum to go another two meters I think it could have been another 10 20 meter fall and that would not be mean good by any manner of means but anyway, life experiences, um, come away with no pain apart from my wrist, so yeah, take that as a, as a good lucky win on that one, uh, should get a lot of tickets on that one really, um, yeah, so on that note I'm going to head back to base, have a coffee and feed and uh, see how Mark's getting on with his floating stag. Might have to uh, try and see if we can help him find the stag. Might have washed all the way down the main river. <laughs> Rivers are all pretty high. Well, we're... Yeah, yeah. Just looking for Mark's uh, stag. Yeah. Even if I wait in behind it. He's right by. Yeah, I think it's front shoulders caught behind here. I can see half it hooked under here. Here you can get a rope on it, mate, that'd be good. And then we can haul it around, pull it up the bank here. Good girl, Wendy. Good point, she went in there. Yeah. And fucking swung up there. And the head might be stuck under the hill. Yeah. Yeah, we just found Not Mark's stack. Hey? Not a very big animal. No. Nah. Just down in here. Yeah, we're just gonna get it out from under the. Hey. I was talking to the camera. You got it? Yep, yep. Get out, Andy. Leave it, leave it. Must be stuck into the ground. Oh, yeah. Into the river. Uh huh. Oh, well, we found the stag, dragged them out of the flooded river. Yeah. A little, uh. Hey, lucky Yeah, that's right. A little six point rooster stag. They're a nice antler, really. He just started to stain up. Shame to have to put him out of his misery so young, but there was a couple of dogs on him. So yeah. That's our bike kill kind of. Well with the uh, floating stag successfully retrieved we headed back to the hut for a 
Well then, feeding, because uh, the weather was a little bit uh, on the dodge that evening, we decided to just chill back with a good feed and a few quiets and plan a hunt in the morning. Yeah, morning team, uh, on a bit of a morning bush hunt this morning. Weather's a bit average for uh, watching slips and clearings. So, uh, yeah, and there's a lot of, had some rain in the night, heavy heavy showers, and uh, there's a bit of fresh shine on the ground. So, um, yeah, hopefully might come across something before it comes across me. So, just go for a cruise along. It was um, pretty quiet going in the bush, although deathly slippery and extremely steep country. Um, so yeah, after my fall yesterday, I was uh, a little bit cautious in the steps, shall we say. Yeah, it's quite a bit of uh, fresh sign on the ground. Obviously, after the rain had stopped during the night, there was a bit of deer movement. So I was half by expecting to see something, but with these flighty rusa, you normally just see them boosting off into the distance. You don't get much of a chance for a shot. Well, that was a cool little surprise and a cool little encounter there with a um, rooster hind and yearling. I saw the yearling walk through first and then the hind came up and stood behind a tree about 20 yards away. I could have um, shot the hind or the yearling if I'd wanted to, but I just held off. It's the time of year where the rut happened. And if a stag was in tow, um, yeah, I'd like to be in the know. Um, unfortunately, no stag, uh, no shot fight.
apart from the uh, Holland and Yelling encounter, um, there was nothing else of significance encountered that morning. Um, so it was time to boost out, pack up and uh, head for home. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you're watching this, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to see a little bit more, um, please like and subscribe and uh, share it. And yeah, that will be awesome. Thank you.